of thousands of people will be heading to D.C. this week. Yeah, but not all of them are going for the inauguration. Some are headed there to voice their concerns. The Women's March on Washington is happening on Saturday. The event was first publicized on Facebook and now shows more than 200,000 people are expected to attend. Kate Raddatz spoke to women from Minnesota about why they're planning to march. Oh, we're really excited. By Julia Shepard will be taking a trip to Washington, D.C. with her two daughters this weekend to march in solidarity and experience a piece of history. Not just talk amongst ourselves any longer, but to get involved and to stand up and figure out what we really believed in. They're just a few of the hundreds of thousands of women that are expected to attend the March on Washington on Saturday. The event celebrates the spirit of democracy to stand up for the rights of women, minorities, and the LGBTQ community. We're here and we're not going to be quiet about our opposition. Sarah Kralbauer, who's from Waconia, had a sign-making party in D.C. this week with her friends to prepare for Saturday's march. Sarah says for her, it's not a protest against the incoming president, but the rhetoric. I think it's going to be a really like great atmosphere on the mall of all these people kind of coming together and you know, showing strength in numbers. Dana Daniele's family is making a group trip out of the march this weekend. We have people coming from Denver, New York, Asheville, and me here in Minneapolis. That's pretty exciting. No matter where you stand on the political spectrum, Saturday's first women's march on Washington will be one for the history books. It just energizes them, and I hope that um, it's just as fantastic as we expect it to be. Julia's daughters are 13 and 15. She said they'll be going Friday and coming right back on Sunday, so they won't be missing any school. The Women's March on Washington will begin at 10 a.m. in Washington, D.C. on Saturday. So certainly going to be a very busy week there. And I, I do believe that there is a Women's March here in Minnesota, too, I think. For a those local who one. A local one on Saturday also. For people who can't go. Who can't go. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you, Kate. Mm -hmm.